So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am filling up a ring pour cup, which is probably just going to be ribbon dribbles with black and white paint in somewhat even quantities to pour onto the painting. I don't know how much of that you can see next to you. It's a 16 by 20. It was what I did with my leftover paints yesterday at the end of the day. I have taken a lipstick container and sealed up one end with silicone and then taped it. <laughs> it's a tool. You can do this with almost any packaging. Makeup packaging is pretty good when it's uh, a little rectangle. There's my butter dish. Here's my, uh, my conventional refuse that I'm just going to put some black and white paint into and then scoop it up if that seems like the good, a good idea and uh, I'm not going to worry about those right I'm going to put them right where I can find them you know what I'm going to put some water in my dish I've decided that a sponge is not a bad investment um, I have a watercolor sponge in there so I'm going to take that now that I've seen how it spreads out and add a little more black and I don't know where to start, but I think probably it's just best to start. So let me give myself a little bit. Oh gosh. Let me go where my least favorite places are. And I think because I have some schmutz over here. And I can tip this way and that without it being too much of an issue. And that is my, my plan is to tip and keep tipping as far as I can send my paint. I'm going to let that roll right down to that edge catcher. I'm going to move it down and then I'm going to put it back on again. I could, it looks like I could even move it back and forth. I can use my residuals to, to create even more of a pattern. I got myself a clean skewer today. Not that I should use it, because maybe I shouldn't. All right, so in the, uh, in the name of experimentation, I'm going to what? I'm going to drag a skewer through this a few times, and then grab some of that paint and see what happens. I'm gonna give myself permission just to ribbon dribble. I love that. I love that word. Oh, I love those words. All right, I put that in the uh, container so it would drain. It's a really hot day out here, so for right now, this is a good experiment for me just to find out how fast paint is going to dry. And I love black and white, so if I'm fast, I can even rescue any of the paint that goes onto my edge catcher. by taking it off with a silicone spatula from OXO. Although I kind of like the paint I was leaving behind. So that's mostly gray. It mixes very quickly. But I'm going to put it and leave some negative space behind and wipe that off on my nice, new, damp, spongy, raggy thing. All right, so back to the picture. Let's see. Now I know the heavier the load of paint that I add, the more likely it is to be able to be manipulated and dripped into the direction I so desire it to go. So I'm going to start right here. And if I wanted all of that to come off, I could do that too. Whoa, no idea what that was. Why do I have a nail there? <laughs> In any case, so I'm going to let that go down and then I think, because I can, which is the name of my first book on the Amazon link under show more under the video, I'm going to drag it a little bit. Oh, and I like that black and white dot there too. Maybe I'll just add a few more. Because I can. So that's pretty neat so far. I didn't think that I was going to hurt this any by doing what I'm doing, I got to tell you. So I'm going to grab another big scoop full of this. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of it yet because I don't know where the other areas are going to go anyway. 
and I'm going to let it go down to the edge and rock it. And then I'm going to send it back. See how far I can get it to spread in that rivulet. Sort of help it wind its way by tilting the canvas back and forth. And maybe even encouraging it to... Whoop! I put my fingers on the edge of the canvas. At least it was only on the edge of the canvas. I'm already liking this a lot better than I was. I'm going to grab some more paint. And I'm just going to put it straight down. I'm not going to ribbon dribble it. I'm just going to put it straight down, at least for this moment. Let that little homemade scoop drain out. Maybe add some more even. Just keep adding more right there. The scoop makes it nice because I can go in all directions and that's kind of neat. I'm already really happy that I didn't waste my paint yesterday and that I bothered to do exactly what I'm doing, which is to add it to a canvas thinking I might want to do a stage two. I'm going to let that drain right down there and this drain right down here. And put that right down again and I'm pretty much keeping my... Oh, I like this. Ta. Ah. All right, where's my pitcher? It's time to go to town. So this through here, I'm thinking... I got I to gotta loop it over until I start to get the black with the white or vice versa if I start the other way. All right, that's a lot of paint. This is a big risk for sure. So which way am I going to go first? And I, it's important that all the other paint be somewhat moved already because if it's not, for the most part, where you want it to go, it's going to continue to go where it wants to. I don't want to destroy anything absolutely awesome. And I would like some sort of cohesive pattern. And I am kind of thinking that if I spread some paint in a certain direction... Now, I need to, uh, I need to go right back where I was. And I'm going to take some of this paint out of this container that's probably going to dry faster than anything and use it as a tool to send other paint where I want it to go. So a big lump of paint, big puddle of paint, right there. I can't really blow it around and I can't do a lot of manipulation to it because it will turn gray. It will stop being stripey and it will become nothing more than gray. But I can take my basting brush, which I just modified a new one this morning, and lead a few tendrils. That might not have been my best stroke right there. Fortunately, you can mostly wipe things up as long as you've got a damp rag handy or sponge, or Q-tips. I started using Q-tips. I brought Q-tips out. Let's see how that works. That works pretty well. All right, so I'm getting really pleased with how this is turning out, and I don't know how much more I want, but I'm gonna just keep putting a little bit more until I at least use up what I've got in this container here. And, uh, I can leave it heavy because I've got GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures. You can find my paint pouring recipe right under the video under Show More. Most people know that by now. I love this! <laughs> but then I love black and white, and I love black and white stripes, and I think a lot of people probably have a pretty good clue about that right now. So this did not stay as dramatic as I wanted it to. So I'm just going to make it more dramatic right now. I'm really tempted to put some of the stuff in my pitcher down in my container and see how that goes. I think I'm just going to use this tool like a drawing utensil and see what happens when I add a little paint here and there and everywhere, draining out of there. <laughs> that sounded like poetry. Not intentional, I promise you. But that's going a really long way. That's pretty cool. It'd be good if I could see through it to know <laughs> what I'm actually doing though, I think I would take a better look at that next time. So I'm going to let a lot more of that paint just go and drain down out of that. 
So I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, and hopefully I can have... No, well, that didn't really impress me, so I'm going to put some stripes in there and think and hope that I can just scoop right through them. Oh, look, that worked pretty well. And I may or may not tip at this point because I like the white, the amount of white up there. Of course, there's a lot of it. I'm just adding an edge, a little tiny stripey edge. Not trying to annihilate anything fabulous. My paint is gray and white in here now, but I don't know that I'm going to complain too much about it. I'm going to try and pay closer attention to... Uh, where I'm going. I think the only part that I'm really feeling is missing something is over here and I really like those colors. So I'm going to probably grab some of the black and white. Let that drain and take a chance. Okay, where's my big patch? This is going to move. So I'm going to kind of try and keep an eye on that. It's going to swallow one of my little spirals. That can go right over there. I think I can nudge some of this right up this way. And in theory, if I add a little trail like that, I can get it to go down again. So this is my part two, and this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, please watch the videos longer if you would like to help my channel survive the YouTube apocalypse. <laughs> um, I have uh, 86 or almost 86,000 subscribers, and only a couple hundred of you time at a time are able to watch, it seems like, ever. And everybody else is getting 10,000 and 13,000, and it's making me kind of crazy. So if you'd like to help, that's a great way to do it. You can just watch the videos longer. If you have a chance and you can stand to watch the commercials, that's a help for sure. Um, what else? You can share my videos. You could actually help me to support the studio's art supply habit by contributing $10 or more if you want to the PayPal or Patreon links. And you will receive a notification from me of what the month that particular month's drawing prizes are, or you can usually see the prizes on the end screen exhibition video. Yes, I am. I'm dotting, and I probably don't need to, but I really like doing it. And uh, what I was thinking was just to merge some areas with some other areas, but I don't think I need to do much of anything. I am going to try really quickly to uh, give this a bit of a torch. I got two minutes left, and I don't think I need to do anything else to it because I like it. It has a lot more balance to me. I can't see any areas that I think would benefit from a lot more black and white added. And there's my torch. This is my, my warm-up painting today. And I love the patterns I've got. And I'm going to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And I might release some patterns too. I do sell my artwork, so if you'd like to inquire about a lesson or to making a purchase, you might want to check the email address or use the email address underneath the video where you can also find, as I may have mentioned, the uh, Amazon link where you can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas, best paint spreading sp spatulas around, and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, just as good if not better, and um, I love having those handy, and I really, 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 really like this, and I hope somebody likes it as much as me. Um, you never know. Let me check my crib sheet. Check my playlist. There are over 1,200 videos, and if you look for all playlists and find creative playlists, you'll find 11 lists of 100 and 13 lists of genres. Check Facebook groups for tomorrow's video, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. For students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, that's where I post tomorrow's video a lot of times, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, for anybody wanting to see what I've bothered to, what I've gotten around to, what I've edited of YouTube artworks since I began. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is where I've been putting my artwork on um, Fine Art America and, and Pixels.com via the Shop Now button you can see there. 
That little dot is kind of bothering me. I think I've got some green. <laughs> I don't think that should bother me as much as it is. But it's bothering me less now. Now I've got a dot. Two dots. That's okay. I could put a whole lot more dots in here. I could have white dots and that would be cool. So check your subscriptions are still turned on and uh, check your notifications are turned on. Both of those things get turned off. I have two books on the Amazon link called Expressionist Art Studio. Excuse me. <laughs> because I Can is the first one and Unlimited Possibilities is the second one. And I love you guys. There's, uh, there's every reason to celebrate that there are 86,000 people watching me, but one day there will be. Yeah. I tried the white dot thing and I'm not unhappy. <laughs> you knew you can't trust me if you watch me regularly. Not to play a little bit more, even after I say I'm done. So, take care. Bye for now. I'll see you in on. Check the community board for tomorrow's videos and uh, my channel. The community board on my channel for tomorrow's videos. And uh, I said I love you already. So I'm going to just say it again and say I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.